How would you say winning the gold medal and playing with Team USA has prepared you and like furthered your experience as a player? Man, any, any chance you get to be a, uh, get, get coached by a legendary coach like Coach K, being with the you know, some group of guys that's the greatest player, players in the world representing your country, you, know, you gain so much experience, knowledge uh, of the game that you try to carry over to your own team. What about winning a gold medal? Would you rank that as probably like one of the highest achievements of your life? Oh, without a doubt. You know, being able to go down the history as somebody who won a gold medal for your country, you know, something that was bigger than you as a basketball player, something that comes around every four years, to have the opportunity is definitely great. Does that size ranking, does that give you further motivation as well? I care less about whoever made that and don't don't make no difference to me. A couple of games into the preseason, you kind of assess this team as to where you guys were last year in the preseason. What are the kind of strides you have followed? You know, the experience there, the knowledge is definitely, definitely there, and the understanding of what needs to be done. You know, when we go out there on the court, you know, how hard we got to work, especially the guys that, that, that was here last year. You know, just try to speed up that process with the new guys to help them understand, you know, this is what we had to go through. This was, this was what it's going to take for us to be great. How much are you coaching these young guys? They, you know, every time we we in film and we on the court, whatever it may be, you know, that's our job to be able to, you know, give that knowledge and, you know, like I said, help speed up the process of what we're doing, not just as a team, but you know, to give them knowledge as an individual. Demar, I know it's uh, only preseason, but the Clippers got spanked pretty good last night. Um, it is preseason. They are probably trying like a lot of things like you guys, but. You expect, you have to expect, at least at home, that they're going to come out a little tougher tonight. Yeah, no, no. You know, that's a veteran team. They understand what needs to be done, and I'm pretty sure they're going to come out tonight, you know, with that sense of urgency, understanding, you know, we can't, you know, they can't relax, even though it's preseason. So I'm pretty sure they're going to, they're going to pick it up. How, how special is it being able to always come back to L.A. and play, no matter who you're playing, where you're playing, in front of family and friends. It's always great, you know, just give you that feeling of, you know, growing up here for 18, 19 years, playing home, now coming home to play, you know, maximum three times a year, you know, so it's great to just have that opportunity. Did you uh, able to watch a baseball game last night at all and see what yeah, happened? Yeah, yeah, you know, I was, I, was, I was excited for them. I'm glad they put it through. It was big, you know, that especially High ended, you know, it's legendary. You know, I hope it carry over. You know, they keep keep it going. Excellent. The Eastern Conference is you guys made it to the Eastern Conference Finals just last year and it's changed a bit. This year we got D Rose going to the Knicks and Joe Keem Noah heading to the Knicks, as well as D Wade and um, Rondo heading to Chicago. How do you feel about the East new look and how do you got how do you like your guys' chances? It's great. Anytime, you know, anything can get even more competitive. New looks, new opportunity for other teams. You know, it's great for the league. It's great for our conference. You know, it's great if you're a competitor. They just want to compete against some teams, and you know, um, it's going to be another challenge for us. And it's on us to go out there and take it one game at a time. In your opinion, what do you think you need to improve on most this season? I'm um, just put everything that I learned. You know, going in my eighth season in the NBA, putting everything that I learned over all these years. You know, together in one. You know, um, it's not too much I haven't seen. I haven't been. You know, been in on the floor, so just putting all that together. Hoop jab. I am. Hoop jab.